Hello, I'm Dr. Beth Godey. And I'm Dr. Martha Leatherman. I'm a geriatric specialist in psychiatry. And I'm a neuropsychologist, and I specialize in aging. We're experts in dementia care, and we're here to provide you some information and answer some questions that we hear very commonly about dementia and other issues in aging. You know, we were talking today about um, some of the things that we see and, and hear and are asked throughout the week with our patients. And, and the one that came up today was actually about brain imaging, x-rays, CAT scans, MRIs for Alzheimer's. And there is a terrible misconception out there among families, among patients, and among physicians that you can do an x-ray of some sort, a brain scan, and diagnose or even rule out dementia or Alzheimer's, and that's just not the case. It's very distressing when families come in and say to us, uh, well, uh, the MRI didn't show any plaques, so there's no Alzheimer's. Or the doctor says that based on the CT scan of the brain, they don't see any dementia. Or it's just normal brain shrinkage. Right, right. When your brain is shrinking, that's not a good thing because it means brain cells are dying most often. Um, first of all. Second of all, the diagnosis of Alzheimer's and dementia is made on behavioral and cognitive symptoms. Now, an MRI or a CAT scan or even a PET scan can help to show that there's not something else, a brain tumor, for example, or right. a big stroke. Um, it, it helps kind of confirm the diagnosis and give more information, but it does not make the diagnosis. And I need to tell you something just sort of general about these kinds of brain imaging. CAT scans and MRIs are two different kinds of technology that show the structure of the brain. It shows the parts of the brain, where they are and, and how they look together. It doesn't show function. It doesn't show how the brain is working. PET scan can show how the brain is working, but it's not approved for diagnosis of Alzheimer's, and it's still not widely used. At this point, the best diagnosis is made by clinical examination. Exactly right. And families will get... Um their hopes up and they'll be misled, mm -hmm. I think, mm -hmm. when they figure, well, if the brain scan is fine, then my loved one is fine. We don't have to worry about dementia. And it's unfortunate when the news occurs, comes to them that uh, in actuality, the behavior changes they're seeing uh, are due to dementia, whether it's Alzheimer's or other types of dementia. And you certainly don't want to get in the position where you have someone who's perhaps under treatment or on medication for some sort of dementia and, and doing well, and you hear, well, the CAT scan was okay, so take them off the medication. Um, that kind of decision really requires a lot more consideration th than one brain imaging test. Um, so again, when you get into situations where the stakes are very high, stopping medication can cause big changes in functioning. So the stakes are high. You want to consult somebody who's, who's used to seeing people with dementia and, and making these diagnoses and help get help working through those decisions. Because it is a specialty area, mm -hmm. and you need as much information from as many different sources as you can to make decisions and plan ahead. So we hope this helps a little bit, uh, and uh, good luck with all the evaluation that you're seeking. But remember that just one piece of information doesn't tell the whole story. For more answers to questions like these, our book, The Insider's Guide to Dementia Care, 
is available at Amazon.com.